Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. So today is Tuesday and I just finished therapy. I'm about to have to edit a bunch. I'm not looking forward to y'all. I've been editing so much. I'm not going to complain. Um, I just want to take a minute out to tell you guys thank you for last week's video. I personally went back and watched the video before I officially uploaded it for everyone to see like channel members had already seen it but I was like let me go let me go back and watch this video and to those of you who are like this girl is complaining we get it you are uh struggling financially right now I just I I wanted to delete the video so bad but then I was like no like first of all your girl needs to make money a eh? But B, I don't know, like I'm having a really hard time with these vlogs. And I think that I've openly talked about it where I'm feeling bad because it's like there's my life right now is just it's in this mode of not a whole lot of being able to vlog a lot because I'm literally not doing much like I'm working and I am just doing day to day and and so I, I feel bad when when there's videos that go up that there's just not much that's being done um but I thank you to those of you that are watching and commenting and DMing me and sending me emails saying thank you for sharing um I think I get in my <laughs> I think I know I get in my head a lot about certain things especially just YouTube in general and and this job of mine and if I'm not doing something I'm not adding value and I think that you guys showed me that I am adding value to your lives and some of you even told me that you two are having a hard time and my videos bring you joy and y'all don't even know that means the freaking world to me so just thank you. I really, really, really needed to hear that. I really needed that reassurance from you guys because I do. Anytime I have a video where I'm like, I literally have just sat there and just talked, I feel bad. Like, but this is just my life right now. Um, and I, I just thank you guys. I thank you guys for, for accepting me for me. Um, and I thank you guys for continuing to watch, even though, um, to me, I, I don't know. I, I think like if you really like someone, it doesn't matter what they're doing. You're just watching for them. And I, I, I really think that I need to stop thinking that I need to be doing a ton of stuff in order to gain. I mean, I'm sure when that part of my life happens where I'm able to vlog more and get out more and do more things, it'll be more interesting to a wider range and a wider audience. But for now, I'm just so grateful for you guys being here with me. Um, I do have a couple updates. I do want to say it is a new month. It is April 2nd today and we have a new bingo card. So this is this month's bingo card. And I'm very, very, very excited for it. So we've got Decluttered My Hall Closet, which that is a wreck. Went on a picnic. Solo date night out. Went 30 days, no emotional eating. That's going to be on every single bing single bingo card. Posted on TikTok 30 times. Went to a coffee shop for an hour to color. Worked out 27 times. Saved $500. So I changed my paid off a credit card to save $500 because now I'm focusing on saving because that is something I did not realize in the book that I'm reading, this Dave Ramsey book. I did not realize, where am I in this book? Okay, I haven't read it in a, in a few days because uh, girl, oh, I have been reading this Frieda McFadden book. Hold on. It was real slow to start, okay? And some chapters, because the way that the book is laid out is the different characters and what's going on in their life. And then eventually you kind of see some things that are kind of coinciding because they're all they're all like in middle school, right? 
The book is called Suicide Med. If you guys want to read this book, skip to this timestamp, okay? Because I'm about to tell you about this, this one dude, Abe, in here. <laughs> Let me tell you. I don't know where she comes up with this stuff. We'll go back to Dave Ramsey in a minute and my big old card in a minute, but I, I forgot about this. So I wasn't, I was kind of reading and I wasn't like super into it. I was just like, okay, like I'm, I'm like gonna, gonna give this a chance because I love Freedom McFadden. She is my favorite author. I think, I think I have made that clear by now. So this guy, Abe, okay. I think he's like the third in. So it's like, I think you don't get to his part. I don't think you get to his part till it's almost halfway through the book. But let me tell you. This man right here has an eye on the back of his back, like an actual eye, okay? It blinks, it moves, all of this stuff. He's afraid to show his girlfriend, who's also in the book. She has her own chapter. He's afraid to let her see it because he's like, oh, she's not going to love me. This is a deformity. I'm a freak, da 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 So he's like... Before we can do anything and before this woman, not, I, don't, I don't want her to see this, period. So before I can get physical with her, which I know it's like at that point in our relationship where she's kind of like, what the hell is wrong? Is it me? I need to go get this thing removed. So he goes to the, um, so he goes to a plastic surgeon and the plastic surgeon is like, what? I've never seen anything like this before. And he's like, I can't just remove this because we don't know what, there could be something like something is something is behind there controlling the eye. I can't just remove it in good conscience. So he's like, I'll tell you what, come back and we'll run all these tests and you'll come back. So they run these tests and then he brings in next time a neurologist. And he's like, what the hell is a neurologist doing here? I think it's a neurologist. Um, but basically they run more tests and they find out that they, they showed the, the eye pictures and and Abe doesn't know he cannot control this eye he doesn't know if it's blinking if it's moving he doesn't know any of that he just knows it's on his back so whenever they were showing the eye pictures he knew that they were being shown pictures but he can't see any of these pictures he has no idea what's going on and at the end of the the test and everything, the you're all whoever whoever the doctor was, neurologist was like, I can't in good conscience give this like I cannot in good conscience remove this. We can't do this because I showed the eye what a child experiences losing a dog. And it cried. The eye started crying. So we cannot in good conscience remove this eye and so Abe is just like oh hell no I am going and getting this damn thing removed he as a person is very kind gentle loving uh very thoughtful he's just this is like amazing person right he goes to this doctor that is he's unsure if it's even really are you really even a doctor he pays him 500 bucks he's like remove this damn thing okay and he's like all right remove he said immediately, after he gets up from the table, he goes outside and he just immediately feels this immense amount of anger and just like uncontrollable, I need to hurt somebody. And so someone comes up to him, like bumps into his arm or something, and he literally beats this dude. We're not sure if he beats him to death. At least I'm not sure where I, where I am in the, in the book. I don't know. But he tore him up because he was so angry. And he was like, oh, crap. Like, did the I control that part of me? Because all of a sudden I have all of this anger. He was with his girlfriend. He was having these thoughts of hurting her. And he's like, what is going on? Like, I can't hurt her. He would in the middle of the night, like, punch the wall. He was... Uh, trying to like get his mind off of it and he's like uh, playing with a ball and and he throws it so hard he puts a dent in the wall he almost rapes his therapist like so much so much and wow like are you kidding me basically what happened was it's like 
some kind of uh, he, his mom was pregnant with twins, and it was somehow like he ate his twin, but his twin's eye still remained on him. I, I don't remember in the book they called it something medical, technical, whatever. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't researched to see if this is a real thing. I, it might be. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But like, what? And the fact that I don't know if I mentioned when they were doing the test, the, the other doctors, the plastic surgeon and the neurologist, when they were running their test, they saw that there was like brain matter or brain mass or something. Because something, you know, there was brain that had to control this eye. And so he calls his mom and he's like, be honest with me. Did I have a twin? And she's like, yeah, you did have a twin. And then he's like, what happened? Like, what, what the heck? And she's like well you've always been like a really kind soul things started getting worse and you started doing really bad things it would be in the middle of the night or just throughout time and it just got really bad and then we noticed that whenever you were doing the bad things the eye was closed so basically whenever the eye was open he was doing like he was the kind amazing wonderful person that he had come to be but when it was closed he was this evil it's so good I'm like we gotta get back to Abe like what's going on you left me hanging <gasps> so I stayed up till it was it was midnight um but I'm again I'm getting every chance that I can read this get to reading this book I am oh I'm so in I'm so into it so because I've been reading this book I haven't really taken aside any time to read this book but going back to this what he's what he talks about is you are to build up your emergency fund first and then you're supposed to work on your debt snowball well i was doing it the opposite i was paying off credit cards and not saving money and then being in this situation where it's like how am i going to afford groceries this month and looking at my finances and what i'm going to bring in this month and be like huh there's too much month there's not enough money so it was like okay I have to save the money first. So that's where I was like, take off the payoff a credit card. Let's save $500. But I also went through my budget and I was like, I think that I can also put $100 more than my minimum towards one of my credit cards. Like the one that's the least. Like don't pay it off. Just put $100 more towards more than the minimum towards the card. So that's also on here. Face mask slash facial at home, no social media, 24 hours, went so somewhere I've never been before. Oh, I thought I took that off. Oh girl, here we go again. <laughs> All right, we got our free space, watched the sunset, volunteered, went for a walk at a park, went to a farmer's market. Those could actually be the same. Well, depends on if I go, because. I might go to that farmer's market that I really liked. I might go there. Anyways, went to a bookstore and walked around. Read a book outside for an hour. Complimented a stranger. So this time it has to be someone I don't know. Um, read a self-help book. Bought myself flowers. Solo date dates. And then got a pedicure. That is my April 2024 bingo card. And I'm going to put that right here. I don't know where my star stickers are, but oh, here they are. Um, so yeah, I wanted to also update you guys on the furniture guy. He has not gotten back with me. I did go back and read the email and I did invite him. So I did ask him out on a date and he did not respond. And I'm okay with that. I'm just like, I'm just so surprised at myself for even putting myself out there and doing that, that I'm just like, I was just kind of in this mentality where it's like, if something comes out of it, cool. If nothing comes out of it, cool. Here's the thing, and this is how I know I'm changing. If this would have happened last year, even just a few months ago, I would have been devastated. I would have been like, there's something wrong with me. Of course he wouldn't like you, da da da. And I would have just put myself down. And now I'm just kind of like, eh, it's whatever. Like, there's no, no bad feelings towards myself and that is huge freaking growth for me so cat on the back jill um i also wanted to update you guys i have not heard back about the interview which i won't hear back until apparently the end of the week for the interview that i did last week but i did have an interview yesterday 
And let me tell you how this interview went. It was for Chick-fil-A, right? And it was... I thought back of house, but then when he called me, it was front of house. And it was during the day. So when I had filled out the application, I said that I had open availability. Well, Contrell has a job now. And so no, I don't have to open availability anymore. I have to, we're going to have to work around each other's schedule, right? So he was asking me, and I told him that, and, and he was asking me, so when are you available? And I was like, well, you know, I'm available from this time to this time, because I know I'll be able to work around his schedule, but I'm just not 100% sure, and I can't, you know, I don't want to say something and, and it not be true in, in this interview or whatever. So he's, like, asking me, like, certain questions about, like, where, I'm in, where I've uh, been volunteering and, like, you know, all this kind of stuff and, like, about my experience and whatnot. Why Chick-fil-A, da 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 So he said, okay, well, first of all, he was, like, really rushed. It, it was just, like, I don't, basically, I don't have time for you, but I'm making time because I have to. I don't know. I just got a really bad vibe from the whole entire interview. So he said at the end of the interview, he was like, okay, well, I'll let you know, you know, you'll be notified through such and such of the next steps. If, if we decide to hire you, what the next steps are and you'll be notified. So I'm like, okay, thank you so much for your time. And as I'm sitting here talking, this a-hole hangs up on me. Click click and I was just like asshole I don't want to work for your ass anyway so thank you for showing me how you truly are because I would not want to work for you you're showing your ass in the interview like that you just hung up on me like that as I'm sitting here you didn't thank me for my time you didn't thank me for the interview none of that stuff so needless to say I will not be working at Chick-fil-a and what I find so ironically funny is when he asked me why Chick-fil-A, I was like, Chick-fil-A has the best customer service. And I am very much so a customer service person. That asshole didn't have no damn good customer service. Please. <laughs> so again, needless to say, I will not be working at Chick-fil-A. And I'm glad because he showed his ass on that. To me, to me, he showed his ass and I don't want to work for you anyways. So... That's the update on that. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go and I might see you guys later today. I'm not really sure. I might not see you until tomorrow, but until then, whenever, I will see you guys. Hey girl, hey. So it is dark out. It's Wednesday. Jeez. Girl, I ain't gonna have no content for y'all. I mean, I have a little bit, but not much. Um, so, I had to rush Ava to school. I'm a member of the 5 a.m. club this morning. Um, but she's going on a field trip, so I had to get her there at 545. But then, because it's raining, the buses were late, and Ava forgot her headphones, which I'm like, oh, that sucks. Like, because she's, like, always with her headphones. So I'm like... Let me see if I have time to go back. So I have been doing nothing but rushing and rushing and rushing and rushing. Because initially we were late. <laughs> My Ava, I swear. She's going to do big things in this life. But whew, I get it. I, girl, I was there too when I was 13. I didn't give a crap. You told me we we're going to be late. Oh, well, you're going to wait for me. <laughs> anyway, she's so much like me. Um... Do y'all, like, notice that in your kids where you be like, damn. I see some things in control, too, but that girl, when I was her age, whoo, why does it look like that? Anyways, I am heading on over to the bank, and then I'm going to go home. I'm going to go, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree. I'm thinking that I'm going to go ahead and take the tree down. So if I don't see any kind of what I was thinking, because if I do something floral, like maybe some floral garland, some flower picks, something along those lines, I'm thinking I could leave it up. Like, I still have those, actually, those flowers, those pink flowers 
from Valentine's Day, I could get those out. And then I also feel like I have some white flowers. As a matter of fact, I might not need to do anything and I might just need to use what I have. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna go eventually. It's only six right now. So I'm gonna see what time they open. I think they don't open till eight, which is good because I guess I'll go home. I guess I'll put my makeup on and I really want to get on my workout clothes today. I really want to make a point to do that, put on some makeup, do those kind of things. We're going to figure out something. Are we going to take down the tree today or are we going to leave it up and put it all florally for spring and then also Mother's Day? I will let y'all know what I decide. All right, we are back. Oh my gosh. I do not like hectic mornings like that. No, not good for me. Not good for me. Too stressful. But I am back. And um, I'm tired. Dollar Tree doesn't open till 8. So I don't want to really get in the mood or the mode of anything. I'm going to definitely eat. Damn, did that pick up as exercise? Girl. Um, I'm going to eat, but I want to show you guys real quick. I don't know where my tripod is, so y'all are sitting on a box. But I feel like y'all need to be higher. That's why I'm standing so far back. But I got some built bars. Built puffs to be exact. These are the cookie dough chunk and delish. Coupon code MGE10 saves you 10% on built bars. Did he take that thing back? Dude, are you for real? He took the other built bars back. He meaning my son. He was like, you gave these to me? You're not taking them back. I was trying to take them back. <laughs> Anyways, I only have a few left. One, two, three, four. So I do have one because girl, I was saving it. I was saving it. And then I have two of these brownie batters. I mean, three of these brownie batters. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the bottom of my little container. The only thing I wish about these is that they would be consistent. They could find a way to be consistent with the chunks that they give you. This one has three. But some of them only have two, and I feel ripped off when I only get two. Sometimes you can get four. Very rarely you can get four. I'm checking them. Oh, this one, this one feels measly. Just, just the bar. One, two. The bar feels measly and you only have two. Not a fan. <laughs> one, you're joking. One. Oh, I don't want to eat that one. I'm gonna give that one to someone. Just kidding. One, two, three. This one has three. This one only has two. Two. Definitely three. Two. Three. I do wish that they would be more consistent with these, with the chunks. Because that's very inconsistent. This one also has three. But that's the box. from the recycle that, so I'll break that down. And here's my new staff of Built Bars. I eat one every single day. 17 grams of protein. The chunks have 160 calories in them. The chunk puffs and then the regular puffs have 150. 17 grams of protein. Cannot beat it. Great on the go snack. I eat these for my afternoon snack. I eat these for my afternoon snack. 
and it holds me over until dinner time. Okay, this, so the Built Bars will be linked down below. You can also just go to builtbar.com. It's humid out there, y'all. And use coupon code MGE10 and you'll save 10%. These, they reached out to me on Instagram. So I'm gonna be doing something for Instagram for them I wanna show you guys. I'm very excited for these. I will say these are very expensive. Very expensive, okay? But I have met people, I know people who do a low carb lifestyle and who will spend crazy amount of money, crazy amounts of money for things that are low carb. You, you know, the low carb everything is so much more expensive. So this brand right here is, I believe it's called Emmy, I-M-M-I. And basically what it is, is a low carb, high protein ramen so here you've got low carb and you've got high protein which automatically both of those things raise the like skyrocket prices skyrocketed i don't know 100 percent for sure how much these are but i'm so y'all i love ramen i was telling my kids the other day i said i feel like i could eat ramen every single day and i'm just talking the little cheapy ramen in the pack I do. I feel like I could. It's so good. <laughs> and I ate it in in my 20s all the time because I really didn't cook much. I really didn't know how to, how, how to cook. I ate a lot of cottage cheese. That was my jam. I will never forget my roommate. I would sit there. I would get my little container of cottage cheese and I would just eat it because it was mine. Like no one else in the apartment liked cottage cheese. So... I would just sit there and eat out of the container. Sometimes I'd have crackers. Sometimes I would just literally just eat it like that. So I'll never forget going, like sitting on the couch with my roommate and we'd be sitting there talking. And I'd just be like eating because that would be my dinner sometimes, just some cottage cheese. I'd be eating my cottage cheese and she'd be like, that is so disgusting. And I'm like, it's good. I love cottage cheese. Y'all know. I've, I've loved cottage cheese since I was, I used to go to Golden Corral where like those buffet places, you know how they always have this very big, extensive, um, what are they called? Salad bars. And I would always get big old thing of cottage cheese and crackers. And I just love it. Anyways, where, where was I going with that? Cottage cheese and ramen. Those were my things in my 20s when I, I just really... I, I had no need to learn how to cook or anything like that. So anyways, um, this is really cool. Now, again, remember, they are very expensive because of the two things I mentioned. They're low in carb. They're high in protein. I am so excited to try this. So this is the spicy red miso flavor ramen. It is plant-based. It has, in the whole package, it's 310 calories. I'm thinking that's about the same as the ramen that you can get at the store. 15 grams of fat, which is about also the same. Uh, I feel like the sodium might be a little bit lower, but you've got 24 grams of carbs and then 18 grams of carb of, of fiber and then 21 grams of protein. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I actually might make these tonight for dinner. And taste them. Control's gotta work tonight. We will see, we will see. So the spicy, the the spicy red miso, I hope that that's not like super spicy because your girl can't take spice like that. I don't really have a whole bunch of toppings though, I just have green onion. <laughs> um do I I could make boiled hard boiled a hard boiled egg. Uh, this is the roasted pork. I don't even want to try to butcher that. Three hundred and ten calories. Are these the same? Three, ten, fifteen, twenty-four, eighteen, twenty-one. Yes, yeah. same exact macros on this one. And leave save for this one. Yep. And this one is the creamy chicken. I am so excited. 
I had to show you guys. I will see if I can find a link just in case you guys are interested. Because again, I know if, when people are doing low carb, they will spend the money to get something that they're craving, something that they're not normally used to, that you can't find low carb, and they will spend the money. So low carb, you got a ramen option now. And then, oh, Billy, they sent me their whipped shave cream. I love this packaging. I showed you all the body wash and then also the lotion. I ran out of body, body wash, so I started using it and that junk lathers so well. And the smell is very nice too, it's very relaxing. So I'm really, really, really excited. This is Wit. Oh, that's nice. Mm, and that smells so good right there. This one is the Invigorating Eucalyptus, Eucalyptus, Eucalyptus Scent. It says, buy to bumps, hello to smooth. It helps prevent ingrowns, it soothes and protects, and it's got a skin calming formula. So that is the this one which is the ingrown prevention and it has tea tree oil to clarify and witch hazel to calm so that's that one i'm gonna go ahead and rinse my hands off real quick i just wanted to see the consistency of it pair this with billy's razors which are the absolute best you'll be good to go um, and then you have the ultra gentle and it was funny because i was i was smelling this the other day and i was like Oh, I can't smell anything. That's because it's fragrance free. So this one is the ultra gentle. It has Alan, Alan, hmm. Can y'all read that? That is to soothe. And then it just says unscented formula. So this one calms and soothes while you smooth. It helps prevent sensitivity, it has gentle ingredients and it has non-irritating formula. So yeah, that's everything for my PR. Um, I'm going to bring you guys to Dollar Tree and we're going to look around and see. I think I'm kind of over the tree though, I'm not going to lie. So I think that I'm going to say bye bye and we're going to take it down today. Um, I just, yeah, I don't really sit out here that much. The whole thing was, was it was bringing me a lot of joy and I didn't want to take it down. And I was just like, I don't want to take it down. I don't want to take it down. And now I'm like half of the night, the kids are in their room or they're gone somewhere. And me, I'm in my bedroom working. So I'm going to go, I'm going to eat lunch. <laughs> I'm going to eat breakfast. I feel like it's lunchtime already because I've been up that long. I really haven't, but um, I will link these things down below, by the way. I do have a coupon code for Billy, and um, I will just link it down below as well with, oh no. I will link them down below also with the coupon code or whatever. So I will see you guys later on. I don't know if y'all know this. I know the benefits of protein is like, my, my idea of like benefits of protein is that it helps keep you satiated. And it also helps promote muscle growth. It helps like with your muscles whenever you're trying to build muscle. They always talk about protein, protein, protein. But did you know that it the benefits of protein are also these things? It maximizes your mind. It creates strong and healthy hair. It supports silkier, smoother skin. It fuels an all-around beautiful body. And then it promotes muscle growth. I didn't know that. Who knew? Who knew? Now we all know. Hey girl, hey. So we are on our way to the Dollar Tree. I am convinced, like I said, that I'm just gonna really walk around just to kind of get out of the house. Um, I have a meeting at 11 o'clock. It is now nine o'clock. And yeah, I'm just gonna walk around. I'm trying to think of what all they might have out right now. And I'm also sitting here thinking, maybe I'm tired of my tree because I don't like the way it looks. Like it doesn't bring me joy to look at it because it's, let's be real, it's tacky. <laughs> it's tacky as hell. So maybe if I make it all pretty again, 
That's why I'm kind of going back and forth. Like, I do have things at home, like I was telling you guys. But then I'm also like, would it look too bare then? You know? So I'm just going to see what they have. Like I said, most likely I'm just going to end up taking it down. But we will see. We will see, girl. We will see. So I guess I'm going to bring you guys in there when I get in there. I got you. I was running from myself those days. Always breathless, search for something safe. And then I smashed into that golden face. And for the first time, I don't run away. We danced together till we got it forgot I said I was going to do a um, graduation tree. Mm. Mm. I put those on the tree. Found my tripod. It's in this bag. Um, okay, so I went in there and you guys saw there was lots of Memorial Day stuff, like stuff for Memorial Day. I also saw that Hawaiian stuff, like I think they're called Lays. I think that's what it's called. So I was like, I could cut these and then do garland that way. And then do my little flowers throughout. So that was another option. I don't want to do Memorial Day. I don't want to do that one. Just because it's not until May. Like the end of May. And I would rather have it like floral and pink and pretty and stuff. So I was like, mm, I don't want to do that. I was looking at the stuff and I was showing you guys. Like I, it would have made a great tree. So if you guys are making trees throughout the year for each holiday... Memorial Day, 4th of July, patriotic trees, they have, they have a lot of stuff for that. Then I saw the graduation section, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot that I was going to do a graduation tree. And so I start pulling things, and they had these stars, they were glitter stars, so some of them were black and gold, and then others were black and silver. And I was like, I could take this, find some... It's not called yarn. It's not called string. It's something neutral-ish looking. Twine, I, I think is what it's called. So I found some of that, and then I was like, I can somehow find a way to poke holes through the stars, and then I could make a garland with these stars. And then the rest of the ones were kind of like on picks, so I could just kind of cut them and put them throughout the tree. And then I started adding stuff up and I was like, this is going to be like 20 something dollars. And at this point, honestly, I would just rather take that. If I have an extra $20, I would rather put that towards food or I would rather put that towards, um, I made the decision so that this was a hard decision y'all, but I have, I've, I keep talking about, I have a lot of dental work to do. So I have here, here, and here, and it's a lot of money. Okay. My insurance for this part right here, which is the next part I need to get, my insurance only covers a certain amount. I'm responsible for like $650, $680, something like that. So I was like, let's go ahead and start a dentist fund. So we're going to go ahead and get our cleaning. I think our cleaning is next week. And from there, every time I have extra money, I'm just going to put it towards my dental fund. 
So whenever I come up with whatever balance that is, because I already have a balance, I'm going to call them today and be like, hey, I need to pay off my balance of what I owe you guys. Because they won't see me for my cleaning next week unless I pay them their balance. Which kind of sucks. But that's whatever. It's whatever. Because they probably would never get their money. I mean, I'm not saying for me, from other people, if they didn't do that, if they did, that wasn't their like rule or whatever. So I was like, well, if we're going to do the dental fund, it's a lot of money. I don't know how much this is going to cost because they didn't calculate it with the insurance because we were supposed to do all that last year. And honestly, last year wasn't going to cover. Like, I would have maxed out with this side. And I just didn't have the money. So, that's what we're doing. And I just was like, you know what? Any extra bit of money that I have, I'm just going to stuff to my dental fund. Because I really need to get this work done on my teeth. And I've only gotten the one side. Y'all know I got the deep cleaning, which was two sessions. And then I went back, got another cleaning it wasn't a deep cleaning it was just a regular cleaning and then I got my cavities filled on this side and then a tooth pulled so a lot of work y'all I just I have cavities here I think it's four I need another tooth pulled here which is honestly just a tooth that I'm missing it's just the root that needs to come out so he needs to pull that root out and then I have more cavities up here and then down here like I'm gonna need a crown like it's it's so much you guys I need to turn on the air because it's hot out here it's very humid um I wish the sun the sun was peeking out for a little bit because I was like I sure would um uh, they're probably all wet I was about to say I would want to go sit by the pool but all of the loungers are probably wet because it poured all last night Anyways, that's that. So, Contrell is not going to get a graduation tree, which he'll be totally fine with. Um, I mean, again, who knows? My finances might. That's the thing about this job. You just, you literally never know. I mean, some people go viral and it changes their lives forever. I've gone viral and it changed my life for the moment, but it never made such an impact where it's like, I'm still continually making that money. And I don't know. It might be the same way for other people. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. When I think about going viral. Like I have millions and millions and millions of views. On some of those videos over there. And I see people go viral. And they're like oh my gosh. Life changing. And I'm just like. Still posting. And like I have my viral video. And then the videos for like the next week. Do pretty well. And then after that it's just like barely reaching a thousand again so it's like oh yeah not life changing for me to go viral which I know everyone's experience is different but I'm saying this to say this there might be a video that I upload whether it be on TikTok or here on YouTube that could go viral that could literally change my life and my income you just never know so there's that possibility too and if that's the case, then I will go all out with a graduation tree for him. But for now, we need to work on our dental fund. And that just takes priority over <sighs> takes priority over a graduation tree. So I'm going to go home. I got to film some videos. I got a meeting at 11. So after lunch, we'll take down our tree together. I'm low-key kind of sad. But then also, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I think what I'm doing is a lot more important, making sure that I am working on paying off my credit cards, but also working on not putting myself back into debt and making the decision like, hey, we're going to pay cash for this because it would, it would be easy for me to just go get all this work done on my teeth and be like, you know what? It is, but then I got, I'm stuck with 24% interest rate on all of this. So for now, we're just going to have to sacrifice because I made that decision and that just makes the most sense to me. So, especially with what I'm doing and I will have financial freedom by the end of this year, if not sooner, praying for sooner, but yeah. So until then, <laughs> life's going to be a little bit boring, but what do they say? So I was listening to this thing that Chris Tara was talking about yesterday and he was talking about your weight loss journey in the way where if you do it the wrong way, you're just racking your, you're robbing yourself of, how did he put it? You are 
racking yourself up with credit card debt so you can get that instant gratification now, but you're going to put yourself in trouble later on. Because listen, if you're eating like low calories now, and especially if you have a lot of weight to lose, where, how much longer, how much lower can you go? You know what I mean? So his analogy was really good. I, it's, it's nowhere near as powerful as me telling you, cause I, I don't know exactly how he said, but basically when it comes to credit card debt, it's you racking up all this debt so you can have something right now rather than saving and waiting for you to have a better life later on down the road. So that's just my mentality for my weight loss and for this financial freedom and me deciding to not put up to not spend money that I don't necessarily need to be spending you know what I mean anyways I need to go we will talk when we take down my tree okay first of all I don't want to do this I want to do this I'm tired I just finished editing this vlog so here's here's what I'm thinking right I'm thinking, because something about me being like, like I was sitting here saying we're going to go ahead and take this down, right? And I'm telling myself, all right, go, go prepare. We're going to take it down. And I'm kind of feeling a little sad. So I was like, oh, girl, it's going to be a pain in the butt to take all these little, because these little balls are just like, they're all, they're just like the root, I didn't throw them, but I was just like kind of going like this, you know? They're all over and they're gonna be all down there. Oh my god, who's gonna be such a pain in the butt? But as I was thinking about taking this down, I was like, maybe I'll just leave it up, not decorated, or maybe I will leave this up tonight. and get those flowers that I was telling you about. Ow, that are in my thing, they're in my closet, like the, the pink flowers, and then I have these big white flowers. I don't know how many of the white flowers I have. Part of me is like, Jill, are you just, are you just really lazy right now and you just don't wanna take the tree? Cause the tree is gonna, require me to like actually stuff it in the box and tape it back up and stuff. I'm tired. I ain't doing nothing else tonight. Although I really wanted to go ahead and edit this and this vlog because it's almost at an hour and then export it, upload, upload it for those of you that are members of my channel membership, y'all will go ahead and get to watch it. But then I also need to focus on my weight loss channel videos tomorrow. And Friday, I'm gonna take off because I took, did I take Monday off? I know I, I always take Sunday off, like always take Sunday off. But I feel like, I feel like I've just been working, 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 working. So I don't know. Um, and whatever it is that I get hired at another job, then I'll really be working, 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 working. So yeah, I really wanna take Friday off. And uh, I'm really tired, y'all. <laughs> I've been up since five and I did not crash. <sighs> but it's coming, it's coming. All right, I'm gonna take it on this tree. again just saying never <laughs> this would be taken care of or taken down by now if it weren't for that
four months. Well, I was looking, <laughs> looking up. <laughs> Short now. Um, I'll probably play around with this a little bit to make it look a little better because I don't know. I don't like that, but it's all right. All right. Your girl's all sweaty. I'm going to go. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to get this up. I'm actually just going to export it. I'm not going to get it uploaded for you guys until tomorrow, most likely. Maybe I'll get it up for y'all. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. One or two. <laughs> um, subscribe if you're new here. And if you are new here, make sure you... What's that thing called? Notification. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make sure you click the notification bell so you're always notified of every single upload. Don't forget about my channel membership. It's linked down below in the description box. Anything I talked about is linked down below in the description box, which wasn't much, which wasn't much but I do have that PR stuff. It looks so weird. Looks so weird not having a tall tree there. Leave me, if you made it to the very end of this video, leave me two butterfly emojis down below in the comments. I love you guys. Have an amazing day. And I will see you guys on i might have two videos up this week i'm not sure or i might just do one because <sighs> yeah <laughs> y'all might get the bingo video kind of late for the month um because i think i'm gonna have a try on next thursday or i might decide to do the two videos i'm not sure but most likely i'm kind of uh been doing a lot of editing lately so it just all depends on if i'm in the editing mood to put up two next week or not but for sure, you guys will definitely get a Thursday video this week and then definitely next week as well. I love you guys. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.